the Damilari Muhammad Bilu Foundation organized the fourth edition Ramadan lecture on Monday, April 1st, 2024, focusing on the theme of patience, which attracted a diverse range of dignitaries and community leaders. The event held opposite the Palace of His Royal Highness, Oba S.A. Belu, the label share of Ilupeju of Finshagamu, showcased a blend of faith, scholarship, and communal engagement. Honorable Omo Badamilari Belu, member of the Ogun State House of Assembly representing Shagamu constituency one offering, and chairman of the House Committee on Public Account and Anti-Corruption, spearheaded the initiative through the DMB Foundation. Alhaji Mikhail Adesh Soya Alatunshi, an esteemed scholar with BA and MA degrees in Islamic studies, delivered a captivating lecture on the significance of patience. His insightful discourse resonated with the audience, emphasizing the virtues of endurance and perseverance in navigating life's challenges.
uchuchuna kusikizo kitu ah mwende kale ese roba wali na mabu miyase kwe na miyase kwe afane leo ulukwe mokwe na jakumukwe kika na mabu kwe wajaza The event witnessed the presence of prominent figures, including Grand Chief Imam of Remoland. Fat Ilat Sheikh Al Haji Al Imam Abdul Kadri Yusuf Junaid and spiritual father Mufersa of Remoland, Fat Ilat Sheikh Al Haji Isa Omelu, guest artist Aji Yasa, also known as Akorioba, provided uplifting performances. <laughs> Where Honorable Lukman Adeleye representing Odogbolu constituency, Honorable Owade Wasiu serving Ijebu East State constituency, Honorable Muhammad Damilare Belo of Shagamu of a one state constituency, Alhaji Apelogun, a common general chairman, Asiwaju Bolarinwa Oluwale, also known as Abu. Honorable Nosiru Elewedu, Honorable Muibi Abana, Honorable Jamiu Oyenuga Jasper, and Honorable Waliu Balogun. The lecture prompted profound reflections on the importance of patience, 
resilience, and communal solidarity. Participants commended the DMB Foundation for organizing the event and expressed appreciation for the enlightening discourse delivered by al Haji Mikhail Adesoya. As the curtains drew on the fourth edition Ramadan lecture on patience, Ofishagamu stands enriched and inspired, united in its commitment to faith, perseverance, and collective progress. Actually, we, we started four years ago and we thought it's necessary for us to bring people together during the Ramadan period just for people to, you know, just get a lecture so that they can have some feelings about uh, Prophet Muhammad and how Allah wants us to do around them um, Ramadan time and all that. Uh, looking at the situation of things in Nigeria, I believe the only thing that we need currently is to have patience because um, everything is going to be looking like it's not going to happen. But we, with the belief in God, we have it, with us having patience, everything can always be good. So for me, choosing this uh, topic was the belief I have that Nigeria is going to get better one of these days. So that's why we chose this topic. And in addition, during the Ramadan period, it is necessary for us to always have patience so that we can, you know, follow the line of how Allah wants us to do during the Ramadan time. It is necessary for us, during the Ramadan period, we expect people to stay away from bad things, things that are irrational. So these are the only places that you can go visit so you don't get involved into irrational things most of the time. So organizing this kind of lecture or you visiting this kind of lecture helps you to stay away from so many bad things or irrational things. Yeah, actually I have to say thank you to Almighty Allah because in everything you are doing, you have to give thanks to Almighty Allah. Because Allah is behind of every this thing he did. It is Allah and we and the committees and the, my, the members of committees. We are able to put ourselves together to fund ourselves to make this occasion great again. And I am so happy for this fourth year. It's very, very okay. It is more louder than the previous one we have been doing. This is the fourth year. And it is it's a very laudable one because our honorable is now a member of our assembly. So we need to expand our our tentacles. That is why you see us, you see this place, how glad once it is today. And I am so very, very happy. In fact, the word glad in my heart is the topic, which is patience. And it is always speak a lot about our principal. Because he has a lot of patience. They they humiliate him. They try to embarrass him. They try to, you know, a lot of things. But we thank God because of it is patience. So he's be able to, to override everything, to overcome everything. And I can give, let me say this thing, the lecture is kind of a turn. I am very happy. It gladdens my heart because I didn't expect this kind of populace. Because we cater for 500 people. In fact, it is, in fact, the food is not even enough. And we did 500 pieces, you can imagine, that's a lot of, a lot of crowd. So we give thanks to the Almighty. The likes of uh, Honorable Akpelogu Samsidi, the Ashwajo Adin of Remoland, he has been a very wonderful person to us. Then Honorable uh, Adelaide from Odogbo local government, Honorable Owode from Ijebuwis local government, they really stood by us. And a lot of our PDP chairman, Shagam local government, Honorable Abana, Alaja Amujira Udunaike, and the KBS himself, the principal's father, he has done wonderfully. He supports us morally, with money, spiritually, everything. 
I want to say a very big thanks to every one of them, for our PDP members too, who grace this occasion. They are wonderful, they are wonderful. Because of that unity, we can be able to succeed in planning this thing. So we see ourselves as in core. No master, no, no master, no boss. We are together. So that is why we could be able to plan it just like this. In fact, this year Ramadan is one of the best because we can see a lot of people like uh, Alaji Akwelogun, like uh, our three honorables that are present here and other party leaders in PDP. So I can see this one as one of, as one of the successful ones and I really appreciate those that are come. Despite that we have a tight schedule, they still make it to come and grace this occasion. So I, I thank them that by this year, we can see by them to come and grade this occasion. So I thank God for everything. Hey,